out. I realize I didn't do pros and cons vid for the Springfield Armory XD9 subcompact. Nine millimeter, so I'm just gonna do one real fast. What are the pros to this gun? Well, the pros, it is very durable. That's one pro. Very reliable. The trigger. I'm not gonna safety check it, but this is empty. I haven't carried this gun in about a month, so pretty safe. The trigger on this gun is just beautiful. This is one of the best guns I've ever shot with the smoothest trigger. I think this trigger is better than the Glock trigger. And I like the Glock trigger, but I think this XD's trigger is superb. Very smooth. You know, well, you know, you can't really. You have to rack it to to activate the trigger, but it's kind of similar to a Glock trigger with the little safety thing right there. But when it's shooting, it's excellent. This is a very short trigger, very short, very short trigger, and I love it. I love this trigger. Uh, some people compare it to the Ruger SR9 C's trigger. Which I also hear is very crisp and beautiful as well. Um, so we got the quality, well built gun, very very well built gun, no rattles, no nothing. We got the reliability, and we got the trigger pull. But also, what's another pro to this gun? The magazine capacity, 13 rounds in the free states, which I like to call them. All the other states get the 10 rounders, but 13 rounds is such a small subcompact gun. It's awesome. Awesome. I love it. Now, um, <clears throat> this the fourth con, the fourth pro. Some might not call it a pro, just a preference, but me, I call it a pro. I like the steel guy rod. It's just something about steel guy rods that gives me a little bit more comfort. I love that. Um,. <sighs> That's really basically all of the real pros on this gun, man. I mean, it's just a, it's just a great, it's just, it's just a great gun. Um, and the takedown is easy, so I'll give that another pro. Okay, I should have gave the Keltec a con for that for their takedown, but uh, you know, whatever, we miss things. <laughs> so. We have the reliability, the quality, the trigger pull, the magazine capacity, and the guy rod. I'll give this gun five pros. Now, let's talk about the cons of this gun. Well, the cons of this gun, the finish, I don't really think it holds up very well. It's, in my opinion, uh, I'm not sure about the stainless models. But the finishes on the blue models are real spotty. They're poor. Kind of like SIG like if you want to get technical. So that's really one con of this gun. Uh, let's see if I can find another con to it. Well, that's the second con. The grip safety. I really don't see the point. I really don't see the point in it. I mean, it. This is a very well balanced gun. I just think this grip safety just makes it look hideous. I think they'll never do it, but I think that they need to get rid of this. Because it is a beautiful gun without the grip safety. It just, it just makes it just throws the whole gun off, in my opinion. That's the only two cons I could find with this gun is the grip safety and the finish. That's it. You know, but. It gets two cons, and it gets uh, quality, reliability, trigger pull, mag capacity, and uh, also so some that might it might be another pro. I gave it six pros. Uh, some might like the fact that it comes with extra goodies. It comes with a holster. And the mag and two magazine pouches. That that's a good thing. So I'll give that a pro. So there you have it. 
If you're looking for a nice subcompact 9 mil double stack and um, for winter carry, this is good for winter clothes and in the winter time. It could be summertime too, but when you got heavier stuff on, this does good. So get yourself go look at a Springfield Armor XD9 subcompact. This is Gun Lovers TV. Signing off.